Okay, before I start today's retro back customization guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps my channel out too. So earlier on today, if you follow me, I uploaded a retro back guide for Mega Drive MSU. So check that one out first if you've not already done it. And this video is going to be showing you how to customize video settings per game. So I'm going to use the same games as I did in a Mega Drive game earlier on. So what we're going to do is just open up retro back. Okay, so as we can see, we've still got Sega Mega Drive MSU. If we just go inside of here, what we're going to do is just hold down the A button, or it's A button for me. I'm using the Xbox controller for this. So as we can see at the top right hand side, it says Golden Axe. Now all of this just here applies for this game only. Now what we need to do is drop down to Advanced Game Options, and from here we can do everything for the game Golden Axe, including setting it to run with say Genesis Plus GX or Plus GX. We can also change the shader set, so if I put this to None, and I put decorations to so somewhat random just for this video, like this one just here. Game aspect ratio 16 by 9. What I'm going to do next then is come out and go over to the next game, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So from here, I go back down to advanced game options and I can change this. So let's say for example, I put this one onto curvature shader set. Decorations none and totally change it from the previous game I've just set up. So randomly go for three by two uh, and we'll use visual rendering, video filters, some at random. Uh, just as a proof of showing you how this works. So, first of all, let's just open up Golden Axe. Okay, as you can see, it's not ideal, but like I say, this is literally just for demonstration. Now, next thing I'm going to do is move over to Sonic 2. See ya. And as you can see there, we've now got two games running with different video settings. And again, we can even go to Toki and do this. Just remember, hold down the A button and we can do many other things from here. As we can see, top right hand side, this is dedicated just for Toki itself. For example, we can try starting a netplay game, which I actually covered the other day. Uh, even go to find similar games to Toki from this menu. Uh, we can add Toki to favorites. Let's just go to advanced game options and for this one I can set it to Genesis plus GX wide and just remember what I'm doing isn't just exclusive to Mega Drive MSU so say for example you're playing PlayStation 1 through Retrobat you can literally do this on any system you want within Retrobat so for example we're going to put this one on GX wide and boot the game up. And there we go, several games there were completely different video settings. So we don't need to save this, all we need to do is just go to main menu, quit. Okay, so that's it for today's Retrobat setup guide and hopefully I've got you sorted with your video settings per game and per game emulator. Uh, so anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also feel free to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Retro.